Hello, my name is Dr. Helen Paguntalan. I'd like to welcome you to the Medical Device Security Forum. We are here to explore why we need reliably secure medical devices. At this forum, we will explore many important questions such as, are the medical devices that are currently in use in our healthcare system worthy of our trust? How can we make sure medical devices are safe for patients, young and old alike, to provide the best care possible? And further, why have software apps and medical devices placed security burdens on patients and healthcare staff? As a physician who has provided care to adults and children with various chronic illnesses, I am very concerned about the safety and security of interconnected medical devices today. In a hospital and clinic setting, we rely on many devices to help facilitate the provision of quality health care to our patients. However, this is becoming more and more challenging as these devices contribute to the growing digitization of medical information, which in turn attracts attention of cyber criminals aimed at stealing and compromising patient data from healthcare facilities all over the world. It is predicted that ransomware attacks on the healthcare sector will quadruple by 2020. Cyber criminals like to attack the healthcare sector due to the potentially high black market value of personal health information. The healthcare sector is prone to paying the ransom because of the significant impact of disruption and lost productivity. Reports of healthcare data breaches show that in many cases, breaches are not detected until many months after the breach occurred. If proper security measures are not taken, Experts believe that cybersecurity crimes can have a devastating financial impact on the healthcare sector in the next four to five years. According to the Radware 2018 to 2019 Global Application and Network Security Report, the average healthcare organization spent $1.4 million to recover from a cyber attack. In fact, about 39% of healthcare organizations were hit daily or weekly by hackers. Further, the Radware report presented survey findings from 790 IT executives and found a 50% growth in organizations, estimating the cost of a cyber attack to be greater than $1 million. The chaos continues with ongoing medical device recalls hitting record levels. In a recall index report for Q1 2018, medical device recalls increased 126% to 343 recalls. This trend continues to grow as software applications and device connectivity dominates the markets in all medical areas. The same report for U.S. medical devices shows that 22.7% of recalls were for software, making it to the top cause for the eighth consecutive quarter. Software as a medical device is the most challenging of all. Healthcare providers are dealing with troublesome issues of these recalls and unfortunately seeing its direct impact on the safety of our patients. In June 2019, the FDA warned patients and healthcare providers that certain Medtronic Minimed insulin pumps have potential cybersecurity risks. Thus, it's strongly advisable that diabetic patients using these models should switch their insulin pump to secure models. Otherwise, they run the potential risk of device malfunctions that directly affect their diabetes management and the ability to properly carry out physicians' recommended medication dosing regimens. Uncontrolled diabetes can unfortunately lead to serious complications such as diabetic ketoacidosis, which can result in multiple organ failure. Here's an image of a Minimed Paradigm 512-712 that has been recalled and is in need of a more trustworthy replacement. Many medical devices, including Abbott's ICD and CRTD devices, contain configurable embedded computer systems that can be vulnerable to cybersecurity intrusions and exploits. As medical devices become increasingly interconnected via the internet, hospital networks, other medical devices, and smartphones, there's an increased risk of exploitation of cybersecurity vulnerabilities, some of which could affect how a medical device operates. On April 11, 2018, the FDA approved a firmware update that is now available and is intended as a corrective action to reduce the risk of patient harm due to premature battery depletion and potential exploitation of cybersecurity vulnerabilities for certain Abbott ICDs and CRTDs. Firmware is a specific type of software embedded in the hardware of a medical device. An example would be a particular component within the defibrillator. 
The FDA recommends that all eligible patients receive the firmware update at their next regularly scheduled visit or when appropriate depending on the preferences of the patient and the physician. But what can device designers and manufacturers do further to mitigate recalls? Why is software as a medical device so important? We depend more and more on technology to improve medical care. As a physician, I've spent numerous hours reviewing various medical determinants, including physical exam findings, as well as results from various clinical diagnostics, such as lab tests and imaging techniques. From this critical data, we review results with patients in the hopes of identifying their diagnosis and prognosis for continuous care. Software as a medical device and new artificial intelligence and machine learning can leverage predictive analytics, artificial intelligence, and clinical decision support to improve patient care and healthcare workflows. With the decentralization of healthcare moving from the clinic to the home, we hope to understand the ongoing effects of the patient's response to treatments and behavioral health changes. In this approach, the FDA would expect a commitment from manufacturers on transparency and real-world performance, monitoring for artificial intelligence and machine learning-based software as a medical device, as well as periodic updates to the FDA on what changes were implemented as part of the approved pre-specification and the algorithm change protocol. So where do we go from here? Other medical physicians are taking a stand and encouraging partnerships to resolve these issues. In 2018, the FDA issued a detailed new medical device safety plan, which includes a proposal to create a CyberMed Safety Expert Analysis Board, a public-private partnership that would serve as a resource for device makers, medical centers, and the FDA. The FDA also plans to implement greater pre-market scrutiny of cybersecurity for medical devices and to improve its system for identifying and dealing with threats when they arise. Despite the recent recalls and warnings, most experts say it's essential to stress that the benefits of implantable devices like pacemakers and insulin pumps and a host of similar devices being developed today far outweigh any potential risks to the patients. The challenge is how to design and maintain and use them to keep them safe as well as effective, says Dr. Tully. It really comes down to patient safety. Addressing security risks is critical to the practice of medicine in the 21st century. So please embrace the challenge to continue to bring new innovation and address cybersecurity issues for today and tomorrow. Join others at this event and elsewhere to ensure that patient safety and cybersecurity are foremost in the design and implementation.